everyone. In today's video, I'm actually going to be showing you my February junk journal. So if you're not familiar with junk journaling, it's kind of a mesh between scrapbooking and a diary. And you can put anything you want into this junk journal, whether it be stickers, photos. I've even used some packaging material from say snack boxes if they have like cute little characters on there i'll cut out the little character and paste it into my journal so it's a really fun craft and i'm really excited to show you how this turned out so without further ado let me show you what it looks like before we dive into the junk journal, I wanted to show you some literature that I actually used within the junk journal. So these two little booklets here, I found at Dollar Tree during Valentine's Day. So the first one is Quotes from the Heart. And what I did was I just ripped some of the pages out that I liked and I used it within my journals. So whether it was the quote or maybe even the picture, I would just cut that out or rip that out and use it. Now this one is Wild About You and it's animal themed. So I also used some of these sheets as well, just ripped them out. I thought those were really cute and would look great in my junk journal. And then the last piece of literature is an actual book and it's called In Praise and Celebration of Love, Selected for Hallmark by Helen Exley. And if you don't like tearing up books, you can always photocopy the page that you want and then print it out and then cut out the image instead of tearing up the book. Now, I actually tore the book up and used the quotes and pictures that I liked. I've had this book for a while and I was able to read everything in it and I thought I could give it a second life by using it in my junk journal. So that's what I did. So now let's go ahead and take a look at my junk journal. So as you can see, she is a chunky monkey. <laughs> this journal itself is actually one that I designed and it's in my Amazon shop. Now on every YouTube video that I post, I always leave the link to my hardcover journals. So if you want to go check that out, you can definitely do that. But this is one of my Valentine's Day ones with the candy hearts. I thought that was really cute. And what I did was I added this glitter ribbon and it's actually a sticker and I got that from Dollar Tree so I just put a strip of that down the edge here and then for my closure I used some of this heart ribbon from Dollar Tree and I closed it with a safety pin and added this little lock heart with this gummy bear charm and I thought that was really cute. So I'll just open this up here and we can take a look inside. So these first pages I actually did on my latest YouTube live. So if you watch that, these pages will look familiar. This here is a party bag from Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna use that to put any type of mementos in from the month of February. And this here is a vintage postcard that I used. And then on this page, I have a quote here, and then I actually stamped on February, 2023. For February 1st, I have my journal entries in this little pocket here. And the pocket is actually made out of a postcard that comes in my Redbird vintage box every month. And then this quote up here, I actually tore out of one of those booklets I showed you. And then to match the cardinal theme, as you can see, my paper that I used has cardinals. And this, of course, I added a little cardinal charm to this page. So I just attached it to the string here and it hangs down. Then for February 2nd, 
I did a Victorian floral theme. And as you can see, my journal entries for this one are actually pasted on there. And I thought that was really pretty. Then for February 3rd, I went with a vintage bear theme. I thought this was really cute. And my journal entry is actually in this little pocket here or envelope, and it's within this little card. I thought that was so adorable. And then for February 4th, I took my inspiration from my little February 4th sticker here and also from this adorable little mouse. So I went with a green and blue theme. I think it is so pretty, I love it. And then for this one, I used this little baggie here. I guess it would be like a gift bag sort of thing. And I put my journal entry within that. Then for February 5th, I went with a yellow theme. And for this one, I put my journal entry within this card here and attached it using this beautiful yellow rose paper clip. I love that, it is so pretty. Then for February 6th, I went with a butterfly theme and I actually used some tissue paper here and made some flowers and then put um, some gems in the middle from, and those are from Dollar Tree. And then as you can see, my journal entry is within that. Now this butterfly came from the booklet with the animals in it. So I just tore out both pages and wrote my journal entry directly on there. And then for this one, I have a charm of a butterfly. For February 7th, I have all kinds of things going on here. <laughs> so in this little envelope, instead of putting my journal entry, I actually have some Valentine's Day coupons. And these I actually cut out of a card that I found at Dollar Tree. So I thought they were super cute and obviously they fit nicely within this little envelope. So that's what I did there. And then my journal entry on this one is actually here and then I finished it off on this little postcard here. And then it's attached with this cute little clip that I also found at Dollar Tree. Then for February 8th, I have my journal entry just right here on the page. And I have a quote from one of those booklets. This here is actually a image from a Snow White book at Dollar Tree. And then this little bear with the florals is actually part of a card from Dollar Tree. Then for February 9th, I attached my journal entry with a paper clip and I glued on this little conversation heart. I found a whole baggie of these at Hobby Lobby. So I just glued that on top of the paper clip there. But this is what this one looks like. And this image was actually from that Hallmark book. February 10th, I went with a purple and pink theme. So I used a little gift baggie from Dollar Tree and I just folded it in half and then attached some papers in there so I could write my journal entry on there. So I thought that was really cute. And these are those little scratch Valentine's Day uh, images. So I just scratched off the cheeks, the heart, and the little paws. And then I also attached another little heart on top. I thought that was really cute. And then for February 11th, I went with this theme here. So it's kind of like a pink and red floral theme. And this one I also attached a charm as well. 
So it's this beautiful little rose here. I thought that was really pretty. So this is a Dollar Tree card and my journal entry is in there. And then as you see, I have a quote and some different images. Then for February 12th, I ripped out an image and a quote from that Hallmark book. And I added this little felt heart here. And I had done a Valentine's Day swap years ago and the girl had sent me these little crocheted hearts. So I just added that in, thought that was so cute. And then for this one, I did a hidden pocket beside this image, or behind this image rather. So you can pull this out here. And this is where my journal entry is. And I just added this little tab here so it's easier to pull out. Then for February 13th, I went with a strawberry theme. So I got these little strawberry pap uh, papers from uh, Dollar Tree, these borders from Dollar Tree as well, and this cute little strawberry paper clip. It is so adorable. I can't remember where I got these adorable paper clips from. It might have been from Hobby Lobby, but they are so cute. Then for February 14th, which is Valentine's Day, I cut out a portion of a card from Dollar Tree. And then for this one, I clipped it on using these new paper clips from Dollar Tree. I think they're so pretty. And then I had these little uh, envelope, I don't know, it's like a stationary set. So I used one of these for that. I thought that was really cute. And then for February 15th, I used a sheet from the little booklet as well as an image from the Hallmark book. And I used this little envelope here and attached these two little hearts. So within here are my journal entries as you can see, and I just leave the paper clip up here to help pull out the paper. And then for February 16th, I haven't done my entries yet for this one, but I have this heart here where I will write my journal entry, and then I have different images. This one here is actually a vintage postcard, so I thought that was really pretty. And then for the 17th, this deer is so adorable. I love it. It's from one of those little booklets. And for this one, my journal entry will be pulled out of this little paper bag. For the 18th, this is another, I'd say like a vintage floral theme. And for this one, I used some more paper bags, but this time instead of turning them into a pocket, I wanted to use them to write my journal entry. So here and here. Then for the 19th, this is the theme for this one. And this image here, I actually cut out of a magazine. And then I just recently purchased some of these little receipt things from Goodwill. I think they were only like 50 cents for the whole book. So I added some of those, I thought that was cute. And then this little poem here came out of the Hallmark book. And for this one, my journal entry is going to be in this little pocket made out of a gift bag. Then for February 20th, I went with, I guess, it would be like a, I don't know, a Victorian Valentine's Day theme, but I have a whole snippet of a letter from Llewellyn Pose. I'm not sure if that's how you say his last name, but I really liked what it said, so I have that. And for this one, I'm going to be using a white gel pen 
to write my journal entry on top of this image here. Then for February 21st, I went with this theme. I thought it was so cute. This little fox is actually a card from Dollar Tree. And then I used some of the heart garland from Dollar Tree as well with this little clothespin to hold this little envelope. And then the little envelope is what's going to hold my journal entry. And it also has these little love coupons in it as well. So I thought that would be a cute touch. Now, the only thing about using this clothespin in the center is it does add bulk. So just keep that in mind. And then for February 22nd, I went with a, another purple theme and I thought this was really cute. I used a whole bingo card from Dollar Tree on this one. Um, this was actually part of an envelope that I cut out. Thought that was really cute. And for this one, I made this little paper clip using an image from the bingo and just glued it onto the paper clip. And then my journal entry will go into here then. So I thought that was really adorable. And then for February 23rd, I went with another floral theme. So my journal entries are gonna be within this pocket. I adorned it with this beautiful pink rose paper clip. This here is a vintage postcard. And then February 24th, I went with a yellow red floral theme. So I ripped out this uh, poem from Nathaniel Hawthorne from one of those booklets. And then my journal entry will go into this little pocket here, this little gift bag pocket. And this bouquet here is actually from a Dollar Tree card. So I just cut out the flowers. And then for February 25th, I went with another floral Victorian theme. I thought this was so pretty. I added some of this heart lace on here. And then I'll just write my journal entry on these sheets here. And then for February 26th, I went with a red theme. So I have a little quote here with this beautiful Victorian picture. And then for this one, I attached a full size envelope and decorated the lip of the envelope here. And then inside I've put some papers for my journal entry. And then I also for this one attached these roses. So the way I attached it, they actually have wires. So before I glued down this image, I put glue on the page and just glued down the wires and then glued the picture on top of that. So it just kind of hangs off the side there. Then for February 27th, I went with a purple and blue theme. I thought this was really cute. I made a little bow out of some string and added a conversation heart. This image is from the Hallmark book as well as this little blurb as well. And then for this one, I did another hidden pocket. So my journal entry will go on this little heart and I created a tab with a piece of paper and then this little conversation heart. So I thought that was a really cute idea. And then for February 28th, which is the last day of the month this year, I did another Victorian floral theme and I added this cute little lace to the little date thing here. I also put this ribbon on and I attached it by gluing it to the back page here. So it's kind of like a little bookmarker. And then for this one, I created a pocket from the little heart page. So I'll write my journal entries on this and then added this little quote, 
But yeah, that is my entire February junk journal for 2023. I hope you all enjoyed it and maybe got some ideas from this. Like you probably heard, the majority of the items used in this were from Dollar Tree. I was really hoping to get this out sooner for you guys, but alas, here we are. So if you've already done your February junk journal for this year, maybe just go ahead and save this video and you can use it next year for next year's February journal. But thank you all so much for watching this video. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.